in this video we are going to discuss different types of systems particularly in this session we are going to discuss type 0 and order 1 system so that means as we are in the polar plot concept for this type 0 and order 1 system so we are going to draw the polar plot before going into that so I am taking some input of the previous classes so that is so how to trace the polar plot of the system so as I told you you need to consider type here so type 0 type 1 and type 2 type 2 and type 3 so this is the system this is the coordinate system so now in this so here I am placing so order 1 order 1 order 2 order 3 so and the directions you need to consider like this so for type 0 system or type 1 system type 3 system or type 2 system so all the directions of the plot so must be like this towards origin so now here type of the system indicates where the plot need to start order of the system indicates where the plot need to end with how much angle the phase angle represents so at which angle the play, plot need to take place so now here if you observe this transfer function g of s is equivalent to 1 by 1 plus st so here is there any poles at origin that means in numerator in denominator can you observe any s term no so that's why there is zero poles at origin whatever the pole is there that is not at the origin if you observe s is equivalent to minus 1 by t so if s is equivalent to minus 1 by t you can say that pole is not at the origin when s is equivalent to 0 only we can say there is a pole at origin as we are having no poles at origin we can say this is type 0 system so this one is first identification is so the given transfer function is for is of type 0 system coming to order of the system the maximum power of s will be treated as order of the system if you observe here the maximum power of s is equivalent to 1 so it will comes under so first order system so given transfer function is the transfer function of type 0 and order 1 system as i told you type of the system indicates where the plot need to start and order of the system indicates where plot need to end so here it would start so here type 0 means so here the plot need to start and where the, uh, this need to end means in this coordinate only in this coordinate only this need to end why because order is also here so now i am going to consider magnitude and phase the future plot will be like that i am just tracing without tracing also you can draw the plot that means so according to the definition of polar plot or nyquist plot polar plot or nyquist plot can be drawn by taking the magnitude of sinusoidal transfer function versus phase angle of the transfer function now this is the transfer function if you want to calculate the magnitude magnitude is equivalent to modulus of g of s this is equivalent to 1 by 1 plus st if you substitute s is equivalent to j omega then this is equivalent to modulus of g of j omega is equivalent to modulus of 1 by 1 plus j omega t so now this modulus i can apply for both numerator and denominator modulus of 1 is equivalent to 1 
because that is the real number. So now root of a square minus b square. So here b is omega t, j omega t. j omega t whole square means minus omega t whole square. So now here 1 plus omega square t square. You will get like this. This is the magnitude of the transfer function. As j square is equal to minus 1, that a square minus b square form will turn to plus. So, this is magnitude. Now, we need the phase angle. So, whenever a transfer function is given, whenever we are having a transfer function, to calculate the phase angle, the equation is minus tan inverse b by a. So, here b is omega t, a is equal to 1. Then we can say this is equal to omega t by 1. Omega t by 1 means minus tan inverse omega t. Now, we will vary omega values. So, in the introduction class of polar plot and Nyquist plot, I told you that, so you need to consider magnitude of transfer function versus phase angle to draw the polar plot by varying omega from 0 to infinity. So, now I am considering omega is equal to 0. If I consider, this is the first case, if I consider omega is equal to 0, then I am getting magnitude is equal to, this is magnitude right. So, if I consider omega is equal to 0, 0 into t 0, so 1 plus 0, 1, root 1 is equal to 1, 1 by 1 is equal to 1. So, your magnitude will be 1. And the phase angle is equal to, if you substitute omega is equal to 0 here, then, so when you will get a tan inverse 0, tan 0, 0. So that is why, so here the angle is 0 degrees. Tan inverse 0, then theta is equal to 0. So now, here if you substitute omega is equal to infinity, what about the magnitude? If you substitute omega is equal to infinity, infinity into t infinity, infinity plus 1 infinity, root of infinity infinity, 1 by infinity 0. The magnitude will turn to 0 coming to phase angle minus tan inverse omega t. Minus tan inverse omega t means so, here how much you will get? Minus tan inverse. So, this one is infinity. Tan 90 infinity. So, with minus 90 degrees, then it is going to end. The phase angle is minus 90 degrees. So, here now you can see the plot where it will start and where it will end. Here, at omega is equal to 0, omega will starts at 0, omega for example increases this side. So, omega is keep on increasing this side, say if omega is equal to 0 here, then it will starts and here it will end like this. So, the direction you need to consider like this. So, at omega is equal to 0, you are having magnitude for this flat. With 0 degrees, it is going to end at infinity. For example, at infinity, it is going to end. It is going to touch 0 it is going to touch 0 at infinity. So, practically here it will be like this, say, means like this, imagine like this. So, with 90 degrees it is coming to 0 and here with 0 degrees it started with magnitude 1. So, here whatever it may be, the shape of your polar plot will be like this. And it will starts and ends in the same coordinate as the this transfer function is 
type 0 and order 1. Like this, in next classes, we will discuss type 1, order 1, type 1, order 2 systems like that.